Afeni Fenwe leader, Chief Ayo Adebanjo, has lambasted the President, Major General Muhammadu Buhari, for saying that Nigerians' unity is not negotiable. Adebanjo said that Buhari, who is 78 years old, ought to have known that Nigeria independence and terms of unity were negotiated in the 1950s, but the President was a small boy at the time, hence his ignorance. The 93-year-old Afenifere leader said this during a live chat with The Punch on Friday while responding to the President's Independence Day speech. Buhari had said that the unity of Nigeria remains non-negotiable. However, Hadenban just said that in 1953, when the North opposed the call for independence and rather advocated for secession, Chief Obafemi Awolowo and Dr. Inamdi Azikwe convinced the Northern leadership, headed by Hamadou Belu, to negotiate the terms of their unity and ultimately their independence from British rule. Adebanjo said, Muhammadu Buhari is talking nonsense. These are the kinds of things that cause trouble. How can the president of a multinational, multilingual and multi-ethnic society say the unity of Nigeria is non-negotiable? We negotiated the unity of Nigeria in 1954, before independence. The 1960 constitution was a product of negotiation that arose from the London Constitutional Conference. Of course, I can't blame Muhammadu Buhari. He was still in primary school at that time, so he couldn't understand. It should go back to the records. Before the Constitutional Conference, the country was being run as a unitary government, and that was what caused the crisis. When we got to that conference, Chief Awolowa re educated them that you cannot run the country as a unitary system. It was at that conference that Inamdi Azikwe was converted to federalism, and when he returned from that conference, Azikwe at the airport declared that federalism was imperative. It was in the daily times of 1954. The Afeni leader said that the 1960 constitution gave all the regions financial autonomy such that every region was able to control its own destiny. Hadebanjo, however, said that after the military coup of 1966 and Nigeria became a unitary state, things began to go downhill. He therefore urged that for Nigeria to return to the path of progress, it must embrace restructuring, and this could be done by first doing away with the 1999 constitution, which he said was not based on fairness, but exploitation of the South. The Afeni Fere leader also lambasted Vice President Yemi Osibajo and all progressive Congress leader Bola Tinubu for paying lip service to restructuring. Adebanjo said that it was unfortunate that Osibajo and Tinubu who promoted restructuring and now pretending as if it was not included in the APC manifesto during the election campaigns in 2015. So let's hear from Pa Adebanjo on how Nigeria should be run. How can the president of a multinational, multilingual, multi ethnic society say this is non negotiable? We negotiated the unity of Nigeria in 1962, 1966, and 1954, before independence. 1964, 1966 uh, constitution is a product of negotiation that arose at London Constitutional Conference in London. Of course, I can't blame him. He was he was a he was in primary, you know, he was in primary school at that time, so he cannot understand. It was, this is the, go back to the record. Before we went to the Land Council Conference, the country was under a unity form of government led by Dr. Azikwe. And that was what caused this crisis and after the motion for self government. So when we go to that conference, Chief Aulo re educated them, telling them that you cannot rule this country under a unity form of government. It was there Dr. Nambi Azikwe himself was converted to the to federalism. And when he was returning from that conference, you journalists go and check your the Daily Times of 1954. On the return from London Constitutional Conference, Dr. China at the airport, it was published in the Daily Times, declared 
Federalism is imperative. Because all the areas of conflict were settled under that principle. That was what caused it. That was what it is. Uh, of course, that's why I say, well, when he doesn't know, he didn't know, he didn't bother to read. Of course, you have to be educated to know all these things. It's unfortunate. That's a problem. So if he has read, if he has been told, uh, I often refer to it. Here yeah, in your life, I mean, Yes. I offer a part of my interview. I say if uh, Buhari does it, if Buhari or uh, Shibaju, or those, all those who pretend not to understand what is structuring, they should go back to independence constitution. And I say that is constitution agreed to by the founding fathers. That is why you should pick up everything that I'm t- talking about or everything you want to ask about. That was what we agreed to, that gave every region and the autonomy on every subject. The functions of the federal government was settled under the subject given to the federal government. And all other things that are not allotted to the federal government was a signal to the states. That was what we were going on. And thereafter, there was competition. She found out establishing the free education in the Western region. He built the Liberty Stadium. I want to build a bill, I want to build a stadium. He built the University of Fifa. I want to build a bill, I want to build a university. Um, the Opera Bill, the Agricultural Project, and all that. The Sukha University. This was a competitive thing, peacefully. Which does not devoid of having any differences in the settle according to the Constitution. Hope we've heard it all from Pa Adebanjo. And it's so unfortunate that in Nigeria today, history is no longer being taught. From what Pa Adebanjo said, he said the president, Momodu Buhari, is not educated and he needs to be taught the history of Nigeria before coming out to claim that the unity of Nigeria is non-negotiable. Let's look at it. We have different ethnic groups in Nigeria coming under coming under one umbrella as Nigeria. Now, before you could convince any tribe to come under the umbrella of Nigeria, there must be an agreement. There must be a negotiation. So that is to tell you that definitely there was a roundtable meeting where the unity of Nigeria was negotiated in the 1950s before independence now the president is making it clear making it known today that there is nothing like yoruba nation there is nothing like biafra that nigeria is we always to be we always be nigeria and we always be one that its unity is non-negotiable that is why pa adebajo had to make him understand that it is not so nigeria we can decide to restructure Nigeria because the way the government is being run is not what it was meant to be in the 1960s before independence. So we need restructuring in Nigeria. The system of government needs to be restructured. Before now, in the 1960s, we have regional governments. Each region run its government on its own and they have autonomy they have the authority to make use of the resources from each region and deliver whatever they want to give to the federal government but look at nigeria today the federal government controls virtually everything in the country which is not supposed to be so that is why pa adimbanjo had to take us back to history when they were discussing the unity of nigeria when they were discussing the independence of nigeria that is why it was making it clear that the president Muhammadu Buhari was still a child at the moment when Nigeria was being discussed so he is not bothered he, he, he is not surprised to hear him say it now what pa Adebanjo is trying to say is that the president needs to be enlightened on the history of Nigeria he needs to be told what the bargain that was made during independence before nigeria gained independence because if you look at it the the independence of nigeria was really discussed on a table 
yes the independence of nigeria was discussed on the table so they need to go back to the 1960 constitution and abandon the 1999 constitution which is being used now the, the, uh, he claimed that the 1999 constitution is based on the exploitation of the south i don't know what he meant by that but he is a old man he is an old man he is 93 years old so for him to say that he really knows what he's talking about so my people anyhow you feel on this issue kindly put it on the comment section kindly put it in the comment section and if you are just watching me for the first time kindly subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell to get notified anytime we drop a new video so until we meet another time bye for now